November 1st, 2022, Daily Bread, Passage Philippians, Chapter 1, Verse 1 through Verse 11, Key Verse 9, Title, Bound in Chains, but Abounding in Love. Paul and Timothy, servants of Christ Jesus, to all God's holy people in Christ Jesus at Philippi, together with the overseers and deacons, grace and peace to you from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. I thank my God every time I remember you. In all my prayers for all of you, I always pray with joy because of your partnership in the gospel from the first day until now. Being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. It is right for me to feel this way about all of you, since I have you in my heart, and whether I am in chains or defending and confirming the gospel, all of you share in God's grace with me. God can testify how I long for all of you with the affection of Christ Jesus. And this is my prayer, that your love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight, so that you may be able to discern what is best and may be pure and blameless for the day of Christ, filled with the fruit of righteousness that comes through Jesus Christ, to the glory and praise of God. Daily Bread Message Introduction to Philippians Apostle Paul wrote the book of Philippians while in chains and in the face of possible death. Yet he wrote with great joy, thanksgiving, love, and affection for the church in Philippi. Through his letter, we can see how Jesus' sacrificial life brought Paul so much peace, joy, and passion, even in the midst of suffering. Paul addressed several topics in this letter, including his circumstances and the challenges facing the church in Philippi. He addressed disunity in the church. Although specific issues were not stated, he pointed to Jesus' humility so they might recognize that people were more important than victory in arguments. He wanted to foster a loving community of believers united in Christ. Paul also addressed Judaizers who were trying to persuade the Gentile church to be circumcised based on Jewish laws. He called them enemies of the cross. Paul stressed the importance of having a righteousness that comes from the basis of faith in Christ not from human achievement. Paul sees the gospel as very much relevant to every aspect of life. Salvation and righteousness are attained by faith, but we still live in a world of suffering and darkness. We must strive to live up to what Christ has already attained for us in a matter worthy of the gospel and shine like stars in the dark sky. Apostle Paul was surprisingly full of joy. No matter what hardship he was under, he abided in the grace of God. Paul starts his letter with thanksgiving for the church in Philippi. He was confident that the seed of the gospel planted in the hearts of them who received it would continue to grow and bear fruit. Paul knew that even though he was not with them in body, he could entrust them to God's grace and encourage them with his loving words. I love how Paul mentions the affection of Christ Jesus. Jesus described his own love as a hen that longs to gather her chicks under her wings. Paul's prayer was that their love may abound more and more in knowledge and depth of insight. Love grows when we make a decision to practice loving others. May we seek to understand rather than judge, show compassion rather than indifference, and show tenderness rather than harsh criticism. We can only love when we accept God's unconditional love for who we are, no matter where we came from and what mistakes we've made along the way. God's grace extends to all who receive it with faith. Prayer Lord, help my joy and love be bound not by circumstances, but by the wellspring of your love for me that extends to all who receive it by faith. One word, abound in love.